we're going to draw the Lewis structure for pH3. This is uh, phosphorus trihydride. Now, the first thing to note is that phosphorus is a nonmetal. It comes from the right-hand side of the staircase on the periodic table. Hydrogen is also a nonmetal. It's something you just got to know. I know it's written over here, but it's a nonmetal. So, nonmetals combining together make molecular compounds, and that means they're going to share electrons with each other instead of it being a transfer like for ionic. My method for drawing the Lewis structure of molecular compounds is to, step one, count the total number of valence electrons that you're dealing with. Well, phosphorus, let me go find it here, is in group 15, which means it brings five valence electrons with it. Hydrogen in group one brings one valence electron with it, but there are three of them, so that's one times three. Three plus five is eight electrons total. That's not many, but hey, it's the way it's going to be. Step two, draw the central atom and the surrounding atoms with single bonds to start. Well, phosphorus can handle a bunch of bonds. Hydrogen can only ever handle one bond. So why would hydrogen go in the center? It doesn't. Usually the thing that's written first, by the way, goes in the center, unless it's hydrogen. Hydrogen's never in the center. Anyways, there's your phosphorus single bonded to one, two, three H's. That step is over. Please note, I've already used two, four, six electrons to make that happen. We're going to add lone pairs to complete the octets of the outer atoms until they're full. Now, hydrogen is an exception to the octet rule. It'll, it's happy with a single bond, and that's it. So these guys, these hydrogens, are happy. They're done. There's no more to add to them. If you have extra electrons, put them on the central atom. Well, I used up two, four, six electrons already, but I need eight. So I do have extras to use. I'm going to dump them on the center atom. That's seven, eight. And that step is over. If you have an incomplete octet on the central atom, we're going to move lone pairs from the outer atoms into the bonds. Now, first of all, this phosphorus already has two, four, six, eight electrons around it. That's a complete octet. And even more obviously, hydrogen doesn't have lone pairs to donate, even if it was short. So this is it. That's all you can do. That's the Lewis structure for pH 3. Thank you for being with me. You can use this method for any molecular compound. Trust. Best of luck.